Hello there, it's Tiago with another video and in this clip I'm going to be showing you how to get the inverse Pythagorean theorem from scratch. The equation that we'll be looking for is 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared is equal to 1 over h squared. Now to get this formula, we'll have to create a diagram like this. The length from here to here is a. The length from here to here is b. This length in red is h. This smaller length over here is x and this length over here is y. Now x plus y is going to be equal to c. And the area of this entire right angled triangle is half a b, as written over here. What you'll also notice is that there's a 90 degree angle over here and also one over here. Because this is a right angle triangle, this angle over here to the bottom left is also going to be equal to 90 degrees. So let's begin deriving this formula over here. Now as it stands, we've got this equation over here which describes the area of this right angle triangle. However, there's another way to describe the area, and that is half x times h plus half y times h. That is because the area of this right angle triangle is going to be this smaller right angle triangle over here, and also this one over here. This one to the right is half times y times h, and this one to the left is half times x times h, okay? And together, they make the area of the right angle triangle. Now, this equation over here can be simplified. We can change it into half times h multiplied by x plus y in brackets, okay? But we already know that c is x plus y, okay? So this over here transforms into half multiplied by c multiplied by h, okay? We now have two equations for the area of the right angle triangle. We've got half a b and we've also got half c h, all right? This means that half a b is equal to half c h. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we get AB is equal to CH. If we then square both sides of this equation, we get A squared B squared is equal to C squared H squared. Now this C over here is a problem because we want a formula in terms of a, b, and h. So, how do we get rid of this c? I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's have a look at this diagram over here. We know that x plus y is equal to c. Because this is a right angled triangle, we can say that a squared plus b squared is equal 
to c squared. Okay? What we're going to do is plug this equation over here back in to the equation that we have over here. If we do that, we get a squared b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared in brackets multiplied by h squared. We can then expand this equation over here. And what we get is a squared b squared is equal to a squared h squared plus b squared h squared. Now let us divide both sides of this equation over here by a squared b squared h squared. If we do that, we end up with this equation over here. Now the a squared and b squared on this fraction over here will cancel each other out and we'll be left with 1 at the top over here. The a squared and h squared at the top and bottom of this fraction over here cancel each other out and we're left with a 1 at the top over here. The b squared and h squared will cancel each other out on this fraction and we'll have a 1 at the top over here. With these transformations, we're left with 1 over h squared is equal to 1 over b squared plus 1 over a squared. If we rearrange this equation over here, we end up with 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared is equal to 1 over h squared. And this is the inverse Pythagorean theorem, and it's related to this diagram over here. If this video has been useful to you and you want more mathematics proofs, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you want extra mathematics proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. I have left a link to this Instagram page at the bottom of this video. Thank you for watching this clip and I'll talk to you again soon.